Mobile games come in a huge variety of forms. The shooter, on the other hand, is an incredibly popular genre and a classic gaming staple too. And whether you've been playing them for decades or started this very morning, there are just plenty to choose from. Here's a list of our top 15 finest first and third person co-op multiplayer mobile games to play with your friends in 2024. First of all, you might have already heard, played, seen, but Bloodstrike came out way globally on Android and iOS once and for all and it just passed over 30 million downloads with over 80% of those being on mobile. The thing is, a blood strike has been refined with better servers, smoother gameplay, less hackers, and it's actually just ranked as the number one multi platform hero shooter in about 16 countries, including the US. If you do like Apex Legends or, in general, just a battle royale genre, Blood Strike offers a peak of that genre in many ways. Coming up behind that at number 2, there's probably the best offline supporting co-op multiplayer first-person shooter on the Play Store. Number 2, we have Combat Master Mobile. This game is made by an insane group of veterans who just know what they're doing when it comes to delivering a video game. First of all, it doesn't really have any force ads, no Wi-Fi requirement at all if desired, and it offers legit AIs as good as real pro players. If Combat Master Mobile has one problem, it's that you need to have a decent phone to run it perfectly. Otherwise, instead of a 10 out of 10, you'll be left with a 9 out of 10. Welcome to the mine, cowboys! Arena Breakout. I'd like to give an honorable mention here because it is, without a doubt, the single most decent tactical first-person shooter on Android right now. Not only this game's design is realistic as it possibly could be on mobiles, the AI and map designs are made so smart that it's often compared to games as big as Escape from Tarkov. Now there's one problem with this one. Arena Breakout is about 4 gigabytes in total, it plays online, but it actually makes up in content and the replay for every single megabyte that it's demanding. With above 150 million downloads on just the Google Play Store. Number 4. We have World War Heroes. I would say this game is just above perfect. With a slight to almost no matchmaking system, it's simply one of the most graphically massive mobile World War and tactical sim games to an extent that on high-end devices it does quite a bit look like a battlefield game on PC. It offers some super well-designed pool of real guns, reloading details, sounds and most of all, it's like Call of Duty. If you miss out on its reveal, news, or release, Zynga's Star Wars Hunters is now available on Android and iOS, and it's been out for weeks, already downloaded nearly 5 million times on the Google Play alone. It's available on the Nintendo Switch too. Star Wars Hunters is a PvP science fiction arena shooter based on the film franchise, it's definitely inspired by Overwatch, just less complicated. You'd be surprised to know that this game has been in the making for over 3 years already. Rage of Fig Mobile beta right now, it actually does offer a unique blend of third-person shooter and first-person shooter gameplay, providing a fast-paced and intense shooting experience with a high rating of 4.7 out of 5, this game is already making waves despite being in beta. The graphics are stunning, the gameplay is fluid, easily keeping you engaged for hours. Not to mention, the regular updates and new features are expected as it progresses towards a full release. It's definitely one to watch, if not to play. Now on the other hand, Phantom Blaze kind of sets a high bar for realistic first-person shooters on mobiles. And with a rating of 4.4, over 300,000 downloads, this game delivers an immersive combat experience with some stunning visuals, a realistic physique, and a variety of missions and weapons ensuring that the players remain engaged for a long replay. The game ain't really that large, it's just a gigabyte in size total, but considering the usual mobile game size, the 1 gigabyte actually is justified by the high quality graphics and the extensive content, perfect for those of you seeking for a lifelike shooting experience. 
Shadow Gun Legends number 8 has been ever since the release of it, one of the best of all time, even to this very day. It's a free to play science fiction based first person shooter that offers a couple of different modes, co op, playing with your friends. Of course, the story mode to go for a rather engaging campaign and story. This game features one of the best graphics on the platform. Previously, I actually thought this game plays offline. It doesn't, it is entirely online, but it does support any controller. It does potentially get low frames because it's a heavy one, pretty graphically demanding game, but in its entirety, it's just about one and a half gigabytes in total. For a little bit of a shift, for those of you into just less try-hard competitive games, we've got Armed Heist, which is legitimately, if not the single, one of the best, most positively rated tactical and team-based third-person shooters on the Play Store, which happens to be a heist or bank robbery game. Here's the thing. If you have enjoyed the beginning of Grand Theft Auto V, you're gonna have an infinite amount of that with this game. Except you actually have the fancy to play the game on the go. It is quite detailed in visuals, smooth and even supports a controller. We didn't just play Frontline Heroes this week, we've been having fun with it for months. This massive game has been around for a year now, and a few days ago when developers decided to make it globally offline, they even released a final patch for it. A Frontline 1942 is coming from the same developers, Award of Tanks, it is an absolute beast of a console quality mobile exclusive and takes you just 1 gigabytes in total. On second hands, if you're into the cyberpunk aesthetic and love competitive multiplayer shooters, Infinity Ops is a must try. It's a game packed with futuristic weapons and gadgets, giving it a pretty unique edge over other first person shooters. The graphics are stunning for a mobile game and the gameplay is fluid and fast paced too. However, you might find the occasional lag if your device isn't really up to date. Overall, it's a top tier choice for fans of science fiction shooters, delivering some intense action in a sleek cyberpunk world. On the other hand, we have Battle Forces, a one of the most underrated gems in the tactical shooter category. With its compact size of only 700 megabytes, this game offers some surprisingly detailed graphics and smooth gameplay. The tactical elements are actually pretty well balanced too, making team strategy essential for victory. The game's game mods are diverse too, and the controls are quite responsive. That being said, the only downside of the game is that the matchmaking can sometimes be a bit slow. But once you're in a game, it's a blast. <laughs> you put up a good fight, eh? Number 13, we have this. Urban Heat brings a fresh vibe to the battle royale genre with its urban setting and the intense firefights. The graphics of the game are crisp, and the map designs are intricate, offering plenty of hidden spots and vantage points. Urban Heat actually runs pretty smooth even on mid-range devices, but the in-game purchases can be a bit pricey if you want the coolest skins and weapons. Now, despite this, it's a solid choice for BR fans looking for something different from the usual island maps. That being said, of course, Call of Duty Mobile is just the pinnacle of mobile tactical shooters. With a massive 13 GB size, this game offers some console quality graphics and a plethora of game modes from Battle Royale to classic multiplayer. The controls of the game are customizable and the game supports controllers for a more console-like experience. However, the large size means you need significant storage space and a powerful device to run it smoothly. Now, the seasonal update keep the game pretty fresh, new content, making one of the highest contenders in the mobile first person market. And lastly, Warzone Mobile over here brings the acclaimed battle royale experience to your phone with just a few hiccups. At 7.4 gigabytes, this game is hefty but offers some detailed maps and intense firefights reminiscent of its console counterparts. The controls of the game are pretty decent, but the game does suffer from occasional performance issues, especially on older devices. The graphics are top-notch and the gameplay is engaging, but you are gonna need a high-end phone to get the best experience. That being said, despite the issues, it's still a must play for fans of the franchise looking for Warzone on the go. Thank you. A like and a subscribe could go a long way for this channel.